What's up guys? As you might know already, one of the areas where Linux struggles as an OS is with creative applications, specifically video editors. We don't have the Adobe suite on Linux. We probably never will have those Adobe programs on Linux like Adobe Premiere. And Sony Vegas also doesn't work on Linux. That's the video editor that I used to use back in the day. So if you want to edit videos on Linux, you really only have a few options. You could use DaVinci Resolve, that's a professional level video editor, but DaVinci Resolve is proprietary, so it doesn't really stick to the core ideas behind GNU slash Linux. We can't see the source code, we can't modify the source code or redistribute our modified versions of it. And also, because it's proprietary, it can be a real pain to get it working. I personally have had no success with using DaVinci Resolve on any Linux distro that I actually like to use. They do have a version of, I think it's CentOS, like a custom CentOS image that comes preloaded with DaVinci Resolve, and that's the only situation on Linux that they actually support. Uh, if you want to try to get it working on a different distro, they don't support it, and it might end up being buggy. So that leaves us with either Kadian Live or Blender. Now, Blender has a bit of a learning curve to it because it's a much more professional piece of software, and it doesn't... It isn't just a standalone video editor, like it can be used for 3D animation, that's kind of the main point of Blender. So that can really throw you off if you're just looking for a basic video editor to do some color correction in and splice videos together, work with different video and audio tracks and, uh, you know, just do basic video editing. So if you wanna just do that, we're left with Kadian Live. It's open source, easy to use, but it has one glaring problem which is that by default, Kadian Live only uses your CPU for rendering. It does not utilize your GPU. Now, this isn't such a big deal for a short video or a low resolution video, but if you wanna edit something like a Let's Play, which could be hours long or a 4K video or higher resolutions than that, you're gonna have a really bad time when you go to render in Kadian Live. But I found a solution, well, actually, this guy here, uh, Mad Electron Engineering, he's, his video is the first one that I found when looking for a way to get NVIDIA's NVENC rendering working in Kadian Live, which I'll show you how to do right now. So the first thing that you're gonna want is to download this program called Shotcut. So this is another video editor which utilizes Melt and FFmpeg just like Kadian Live, but it actually supports NVIDIA's NVENC, which is a hardware encoder that lets us use our GPU for rendering, which is significantly faster than CPU rendering. Now, we're not actually going to be using Shotcut. Uh, we're going to just be using some scripts that comes with it and then point Kadian Live to those scripts inside of our configuration. So go ahead and download the tar image for Shotcut. And then you're going to want to extract it into some folder of your choice, um, just some place where you're gonna be able to copy the path fairly easily. And then once you have that folder extracted, this is what it looks like. So you can see I'm in the shotcut folder. Uh, this test video is not gonna be there. That's just, I'm gonna show you that in a little while. But then you wanna go into shotcut.app. And then if we bring up Kadian Live, everything is gonna make sense in just a moment. So you wanna go to your settings in Kadian Live, click on configure Kadian Live. And then in your environment, you'll notice that these are the scripts that we have for MLT and FFmpeg to do rendering. And you see that they're in user bin, they're pretty much in your user bin folder. That's where those scripts that you have on your system reside. But we have the same ones here, right? You see we have FFmpeg, FFplay, FFprobe, so on and so forth. So what we wanna do is copy this path and then replace it with the user bin path for these programs. Um, not all of them are exactly this path, like you see, for example, this one, user share melt. 
let me open it back up. So you have this share and then MLT and then profiles. So it's inside of here instead. So what you would want to do is just replace this part with it. Like so. And then same thing over here. Well, actually, that's just supposed to be shot cut and then melt. See, that's where that folder is right there. And then once you've copied all those strings in, go ahead and apply and then hit OK. And then let me go ahead and throw a video in here so I can show you guys the difference. So now this is with, uh, this is with um, the NVENC rendering. We got this 13 minute video here. All right, and then we'll go to render. And might as well show you guys my settings too that I used to render with. So this is pretty much the script that you would want for a standard uh, YouTube video. Threads, you just set that to pretty much whatever, however many threads your processor has. Um, mine has eight, so I just set it to six so that I can at least open a web browser and do a little bit of other stuff because otherwise Katie and live will basically use your whole system for doing the rendering if you let it. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and render this to a file. Let's go ahead and name it. Um, test file NVENC.
All right, so it just finished rendering in just under three and a half minutes for a 13 minute video. Uh, shot at 1080p, I think 60 FPS, although it's rendering out at 30 FPS. So let's, uh, let's do this first, save as, and we'll just call it test. So what I'm gonna do now is change the settings back to what they were before. All right, so we'll apply that. And then uh, I think I'll restart Kadian Live just to make sure that it's using the other one. Okay, so we're using the default settings and we'll go ahead and open our test file, go to render it. And we'll do CPU, render to file. So as you can see, it took about a minute and a half longer to render this video with CPU rendering instead of NVIDIA's NVENC rendering. And this is just a 13 minute video, by the way. If this was a longer video, then the difference in time would be more significant because the rendering times scale when you have longer videos or just a bigger rendering job, like if you were doing a 4K video or something like that. So this is how you can get the NVIDIA rendering inside of KDN Live. I hope that this video helps you guys out. If it did, be sure to hit that like button and share it with somebody else so that they can benefit from it as well.